about their health at this point. Mike Shell, I know you've been um, dealing with what's going on in those tankers and how many had styrene. We do know the good news is that one's at least been shut off. Yeah, we were told at least 14 of them had the styrene gas in it, Tricia, but uh, we heard from residents as well this morning who were just uh, upset. They just want to get back to their homes. Uh, the road closure is still in effect, like the one here at, at Kilby and Suspension Bridge Road. The short answer, not just yet from health officials as they continue to monitor the situation. What we do have is a possible cause to the toxic styrene gas leak. Sitting isolated on the tracks this afternoon, officials say they think they know what caused the rail car to start venting toxic styrene gas. Probable cause was that the additive stabilizer in the car became ineffective. A stabilizer that is supposed to make styrene gas safe to transport. I spoke to a chemical engineer who did not want to be identified, but he said he had 36 years experience dealing with styrene. He said this inhibitor is time and temperature dependent. Should the inhibitor expire and or the solution exceed its safe temperature, the inhibitor weakens and the styrene will begin to polymerize, causing a chemical reaction. So was the additive past its expiration date or did it just get too hot inside the tank? I honestly don't know the right answer to that question. We're actually investigating that. It could have been a combination of both, um, but, but clearly that inhibitor holds and stabilizes that poly that, that chemical. I asked the railroad executive if he was confident that the train car was in compliance with all government regulations for its transportation. I can only say what I know. The car worked exactly the way the car was designed. That car was supposed to vent versus explode and that's what happened. So we believe the car was in good condition and, and within specification. Not long after the leak, the Hamilton County Emergency Management Agency drew a half a mile evacuation zone around the spill. EMA officials have said there were concerns about a potential explosion. The chemical engineer tells me that is likely what prompted the evacuation. But not because of the leak itself, according to our source who said, the catastrophic risk in this scenario is the catastrophic failure of the container. The chemical engineer said this is the reason for the half mile evacuation order, not because of the toxicity of styrene. The only reason you order a 360 degree evacuation is due to the rail car can send large fragments that far should it catastrophically fail. Everyone's just thankful that no one was injured. The fire chief with the Little Miami Fire and Rescue says he doesn't know of anyone who was hospitalized. Trisha, you talked about those folks who are feeling some uh, some problems with this road. We heard that as well. Uh, they were just upset at how abruptly they were told to leave their home. One woman said that her mother could not even get her wheelchair. Another woman said that uh, first responders didn't even allow her to turn off the crock pot with dinner cooking in the kitchen. So that's where we are right now. The roadblocks are still up. We're just waiting for them to come down so these folks can get back in their house. Tricia.